What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fezzy Fitness. So the 212 guys are back up on that stage. Although it was such a dominating performance by Keon Pearson at the pre-judging that they could have just asked him to stay in his hotel room because this is just a fight for second place. I mean it was such a done deal after the pre-judging that very rarely do you see the coach of the other athlete openly admitting that they have already lost. Yes, Matt Jensen made this statement that this is the look that the judges wanted to see so they tried to come in sharper with a more streamlined waist. But that was just at the expense of so much size. Especially if we compare him to last year and even to his 2022 version. He was a lot bigger back then. Nonetheless, I have got to say, Sean could have brought a perfect combination of everything and I bet he still would have lost. Because there is just no way he's catching up to a genetic phenomenon like Keon Pearson. Now, I will go as far as saying this, that Keon could have eaten fried chicken after that prejudging and still none of these guys will catch up to him. That is how dominating he was. So many of you guys have noticed that Sean had a massive discrepancy between his left and right leg and that was even more evident at the finals and the way he was hitting that front double biceps that made it more apparent. So I have no idea why his coach Matt Jensen did not correct him after the prejudging because people were pointing that out after the first session as well. Now I have got to say this performance by Keon Pearson that falls in that same category as Phil Heath in 2013, Ronnie Coleman in 2003, Jay Cutler in 2009 because this was just pure dominance on the stage and literally destroying the whole competition. Now as brutal as this sounds, these guys in the 212, they should just start praying that Keon Pearson gets both of winning in the 212 and he switches over to the men's open. And I'm sorry that sounds very harsh but this is the reality of the 212 for as long as Keon stays in this division. So the results of the 212 are also out as I was making this video. So Vitor Porto, the man who was making his Olympia debut, he placed 5th, Karit Bajo in 4th, Angel Calderon in 3rd, Sean in 2nd and of course Keon becomes the 2 times Olympia champion. So guess who handed him that first place trophy that was the 7 times Miss Olympia Flex Lewis. And I must say Flex Lois was kinda lucky that he competed in an era with no Keon Pearson, no Derek, no Hadi. Because just imagine this for a second. A prime Hadi and a prime Derek and a prime Keon going up against Flex. He certainly would not have won 7 in a row. So a huge congratulations to Keon Pearson. And let's not forget his coach Patrick Tour, who brought him in absolutely spectacular conditioning. And Keon's fiance Amanda who was doing Keon's training throughout this year. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.